What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm here with a commentary for you guys. Not really commentary. I'm actually updating you guys on what's going on with TakeOver. Um, first things first, um, the people joining me today is Saints and, uh, you know, J. Lou. You uh, used to be on Collapse, uh, Pro Coach Collapse, Pro Coach Fear. And, uh, you know, he's been my boy for the longest. So, you know, now he's coaching yep, yep. us. So, uh, J. Lou, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, J. Lou here um you know i'm with take tko now um things weren't really working out collapse so i decided to come on board with my boy fizzer you know yeah jay was actually uh our coach in the beginning when i first made my competitive team uh in the beginning of mw3 but um my passion wasn't in it yet um so i you know went to snd tournaments and we kind of split ways um i'm also here on board with saints uh this is saints's gameplay we're playing versus optic um as you can tell Right off the rip, Saints is more, uh, you know, he's actually an aggressive slayer and a passive slayer. Um, what do you do right here, Saints? Uh, pretty much just like, well, I'm about to respawn up. Uh, right there, I was just trying to hold down loading control and wait for you guys to overextend because you guys are OEing. So. And now we're just trying to work on getting this return. You ended up getting the return. It was good play on your part. Yeah. As you guys know. Oh, a nice spawn trap right there. Boom, two piece. Uh, I got, I, unfortunately, I get team killed by too quick, but um, as you guys know, Optic is uh, the best team or one of the best teams on MW3. So we do get into stalemates here. Um, when you play elite teams like that, that's usually what happens. Both of you have each other's flags, and you're working it from there. Um, so this is why I wanted to uh, use this gameplay because you don't really see that much anymore. Um, and you know, Saints has 25 kills at the end of this gameplay, and I only have 10. I mean, he's a monster. As you can tell right here, he's picking up the guy top dome. What are you doing right here? What, what's your motive right here? So I just hold on loading control until you guys push down with me because usually we wait for a submachine gun and then Rambo was camp in the corner mm -hmm. and we end up getting two feet, so that was just unfortunate. Yeah, guys, so, you know, uh, me and Killa running submachine gun, two quick saints are running ACRs or assault rifles, whatever you want to call it. And, um, you know, we used to play with Ricky. But, you know, Saints is a whole different level. This guy can pull out a submachine gun, and he's extremely aggressive with his assault rifle, so it feels like he has a submachine gun in his hand. And uh, he's just the perfect fit. Uh, J. Lou, do you want to give any shout-outs to anyone? Um, yeah, um, let me go ahead and uh, start by, uh, by introducing some of the new members of the TKO since I've joined. First member to introduce is our web designer and webmaster, TKO Drinvis. He's uh, really been working dude. To, um, yeah, he really did, to, uh, help us out with a website, and um, he's out there in the Army right now. He's deployed in Japan, but uh, mm -hmm. he'll definitely be back soon, and he'll be attending events with us next season, most likely. He doesn't have to go back on another tour. Yeah, and, guys. Uh, yeah, shout out to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, TakeOver has uh, picked up a few other members. Uh, we got the media guy, J. Lou. Yeah, uh, we picked up Jorgen and Sketchy. All right, those are our two media guys for TakeOver. Mm -hmm. They're very good video uh, effects specialists, and we're glad to have them on board the team as well. Sketchy is, a, Sketchy is a really good editor. I really am like glad to have him on board. We're working on some montages for the future, like a team montage or something. Yeah, well, a good editor. I've been, promise, uh, I've been promising my uh, channel a montage, but you know, with Sketchy that we just picked them up, we kind of might get a team montage going here. Um, but, you know, I've always been lazy with montages, but, you know, I apologize for that. Um, did we give a shout-out to Miss Laser? Who? Miss Laser. Oh, uh, no, I was saving her shout-out for last. You know, you saved the best for last. Yeah, Miss no, Laser. Um, <laughs> all right, we'll save that one for last. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. as you guys know, TakeOver has been making moves ever since the whole fear thing. You know, we've uh, we've made our own thing, TakeOver. Um, big news guys, I know you guys wanted us to go to EGL and you've been supporting me and I thank you very much and we finally landed a deal with Apex Esports which is a European organization, a German organization and um, they are taking us to EGL um, so expect us to see us there. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the guys on Apex as well, they're really good guys and appreciate them like sending us out to EGL. It's a huge opportunity for all of us, and this is what we wanted all along. So I'm glad, like, we're actually getting to go, and we actually get to prove, like, see, like, how we how we like, place on land, compete against other teams. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, uh, big ups to Apex. I mean, we had other offers, but it, you know, Apex was always on our eye. Um, we've always heard good things about them, and um, so you know, we're really glad to be working with them. And they're obviously, oh, actually, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're picking up two NA teams anymore. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Well, as of right now, we're the official North American team for Apex after uh, collapse breaking up the other day. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, the uh, Apex is the main focus. Now. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad, though. I mean, you know, it's, it's unfortunate what happened with collapse, but, you know, now that we're in the spotlight, yeah. you know, I can't complain. And, uh, you know, hopefully yeah. we don't disappoint. Uh, so right here, you know, as you can tell, Saints is just pushing and loading. I mean, like I said, this guy can have a freaking AR in his hand, and he's playing as if he has a submachine gun. Look at that. He just completely dominates loading, which is so hard to do. Oh, wow. Was that a, that was like a four kills in a row. <laughs> this is where we get into the stalemate right here, guys. Optic played it smart. They pulled out our flags. They saw I pulled out theirs, and they went on the ground with it. So we played a stalemate here. It's kind of slow. I think uh -huh. I actually started texting right here because that's how much that's how boring stalemates are, guys. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys that play competitive know how boring they are. So I was just laying behind satellite texting for a bit, but then I started to focus up again. They're really boring, but uh, it's what you need to do in order for the other team not to get a flag. Yeah. Or something, but Why back satellite and not uh, mini saints? Because I don't know. I just feel I feel more safe here. I feel like in that spot like, I'm like trapped in. That's how I feel. Uh -huh. I just feel like. Especially with an assault rifle, it's actually a good idea yeah, because, yeah. you know, you can have range on the uh, enemies. Yeah, backside are like yeah. a little more comfortable, especially with AR. Oh, so, um, Jaylu is, uh, you know, Jaylu, what's your, what's your official, you know, what, you know, you're the manager, you're, you're management, you're also coach. Um, yeah, well, you, right now, um... I'm too busy to commit to coaching, so right now our, our coach for uh, TKO is evasive. Yeah. He'll be handling the team and making sure that, you know, they stay in line and keep mm -hmm. winning. But right now I'm pretty much on the back end of things, you know, managing and doing all the operations for the teams, like getting sponsors, talking to other organizations and whatnot. And uh, alongside me is Miss Lazy. She has been helping us out quite a lot. So I want to give a special shout-out to her. Yeah, a huge shout-out to Miss Lazy. Dude. Yeah, well, special geez. shout out to Nicole Laser Bolano. Give her a round of applause, boys. Yeah, let's Hard give her work. a hand clap and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, really hard for us. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, Down definitely. There. I mean, uh, when I was, uh, you know, I'm not really, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a player, so I don't really know how to do business things or operations, whatever. And J. Lou and Miss Laser really, Miss Laser especially, like, you know, she. She really helped me a lot when I was clueless and when no one was really there. This is what before J. Lou yeah. even joined. Um, you know, J. Lou helped a lot also. You know, you know they're, they're talking to a lot of sponsors and things like that. And actually, um, J. Lou was the main reason I think Apex. Actually, I got to give a huge shout out to Scruff. I can't, uh, I forgot. Scruff also, um, you know, he's the one that really talks to all the European guys. And he actually was the one who told Apex to check us out. So I want to give a huge shout out to Scruff. Um, yeah, big shout out to Scruff. Yeah. Uh, Scruff from Digner is a really good guy. He's a Pisces, so he's obviously a good guy. Big yeah. shout out to him. He's a big help yeah, one, one thing about Saints is uh, he's really into the horoscope or Zodiac, and uh, <laughs> he knows oh, everyone's that sign. true. <laughs> Pisces. Yeah. Um, know, also, Evasive. You know, we didn't give him a huge shout out, but, you know, huge shout out to Evasive. He's our coach. Uh, he really, really is passionate about what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. The only reason he's coaching is because his gun skill isn't there. But he knows everything about the game. And, uh, you know, I'm so glad that he's on board with us. Yeah, he knows how to yeah. figure out players easily. He's yeah. He's a huge help to us. You know, coaches on uh, Call of Duty are usually, you know, they just, besides J. Lou, of course, but, you know, they usually just stand behind the team and really just call out. But this guy... You know, alongside with Jaylu, they, they really study the other teams' routes in S&D, and, &D and uh, they really just study players like a coach supposed to and, and make plays for us. So he shout out to Evasive. Yeah, we are the extra edge, the TKO right now. Yeah. I hope we're not here missing Here we anyone. go up by a, 
Right here we go up by two flags. As you can see, we broke out of the stalemate, and we're up 2-0 right now. Ooh! And yeah, that was a dirty shot right there. But yeah, I think we ended up winning this game 2-0. Uh, shout out to everyone on TakeOver, the s d team. Shout out to everyone on Apex. Shout out to everyone that's been helping us out. I like, appreciate it really a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah. Also, um... Actually, I don't really know what else to talk about. I'm going to make another video, but uh, that's for just to catch you guys up. I'm, ho I'm hoping you guys are, you know, up to date with us. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Peace, guys. Peace, guys.